Okay, good morning. A very quick update on this Seiko handsaw. This is the six inch one. You can probably see that. There you go. Yesterday I was using it and I was getting a bit rake racked off with it, to be honest with you, because it kept stalled well, kept cutting out every log I did. It cut through, went through, went halfway through and cut out. And I was like, Ooh, I've had enough of this. This is like this is like 97 quid's worth of crap. Right, that said, let me just uh, update anybody who's inter is interested in this, who's got one of these. So, I've got different oil. I'm using a little bit thicker oil. I'm using proper chainsaw oil on this one. What I did find out, not because of the oil, but before I started using it, what I did find out, and bring it down a bit more level, okay. Um, that be, before I even looked in here, before I even looked, you know, the little cog behind here, there's a little cog. Um, so what I did, I haven't got gloves, I haven't got gloves with me at the moment, the ones they don't fit. I grabbed this chain and I pulled it like this, right? And this is running quite free. So watch your fingers because it's bloody sharp. Okay, that is running really free, all right? I was doing it yesterday and it wouldn't budge. It was like really difficult. I could have cut my fingers, I could have cut them. Anyway, that's beside the point. So I took it apart and had a look at it and I found there was some crap jammed behind the cog some some wood chippings and whatnot which are congealed and then then also in the chain itself was was um full of crap so i cleaned it all um and then got rid of all the rubbish behind here let me show you i'm gonna have to show you very quickly it's only a very very quick update all right if i have to if the chain comes off i'll, I'll do it again don't worry Right, so take him off behind here. So here, all this crud was built up and it was stopping the chain from actually going round. It was all sort of like clunking, kunk, 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 kunk. And that way it was jamming the chain. And I was like, all right. So I cleaned it all, put it all back together again, put some of my proper chainsaw oil on. Now I know with chainsaw oil, it will congeal some of the rubbish that's what they're probably going to tell you so that's just me personally but i'll check it every periodically and i'll do the hand check like i said and then once i clear that perfect absolutely perfect it went through every log it didn't stop it didn't stutter it was just working a treat so a little bit of a tip for you if anybody's interested to always check that back cog and if you've got a pair of gloves with you the easiest way to check it to make sure the chain is running properly is to do the hand check. Which, let me just do that up. Other than that, it's 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 good. It's good. I mean, the six-inch one comes with the indicators, which I like. So, yeah. So the batteries are good. They work all right. It does what I needed to do. It's a load of logs yesterday, and just make sure. It runs free. If it jams, then well, I wasn't jamming it with me. Then you know you got something stuck there, or I make sure this part at the end, which you've got a bearing on, is well oiled. All right, that's it. Take care. See you in the next one. All the best.